specified in the trigonometry and after that we will apply Lamy's theorem. Lamy's theorem says that if your reaction are R, R1, R2, R2 is another reaction. Good morning class. Myself Priyanka Gudara, faculty of maths optional. In this, this lecture, we are going to start paper discussion of CSC Dojar Teisna. Optional paper discussion of mathematics. Have you guys watched any of the paper? Paper 1, paper 2? Okay, so in this, this lecture, we are going to discuss the paper, CSC mathematics optional paper. 2023 and this is paper 1 after some time we will discuss paper 2 in the evening session so in this session before starting the paper let's discuss what was the scheme this year also the scheme same that is we had four question as you four question in section 1 and four question in section 2 paper 1 let me write first what are the you paper 1 consists of eight units and these six units are first is linear algebra, second is calculus, and third one is analytical geometry. Then this comes under section A. And under section, other three units. Fourth is factor analysis. Fifth one is ordinary equation is static and dynamic. Units and people in section A we had four questions. Four questions from section B had four questions. Question number first of section A was and fifth, both of them were compulsory. These were compulsory questions, and then out of remaining six, you have to select three questions out of selecting E. Selecting at least one one from first the scheme of the paper that the first paper one is divided paper one contain these six units and these are divided under two headings section one and section A and section B. This section consists of four questions. First and fifth question of each section, that is first question of each section is compulsory. And then out of the remaining six questions, you have to select three questions, at least selecting one from each section. That is you can select one question from section A and two questions from section B and conversely, that two questions from section A and one question from section B. And then there was marks distributed, the marks were distributed very evenly this year. Because this was the of questions and marks over unit wise. So from linear algebra, we saw question in first A, first B. These are parts that if in first question that was compulsory one. There were two parts from linear algebra. And then every question that is second, third, and fourth, every question consists of one part from linear algebra. Same, same is the story with calculus. Calculus that in calculus two questions were compulsory and then after that second third and fourth question contained each one one part from calculus similarly analytical geometry also consisted of one one part of each the question second third and fourth and same was the case with ordinary differential equation vector analysis and statics and dy dynamics so all the questions were distributed across the units you cannot see that one question was from entirely one unit another question was from entirely another unit and <coughs> therefore we 
all the units comprehensively and cover all the questions hai na we cannot even think of leaving one of the unit because at that time you are going to risk yourself with at least one question and at not at least one question at least two questions one from compulsory and one from any part of the question which you are going to attempt so at least do bare minimum of all the units so that you do not miss out on compulsory questions right and see the marks distribution linear algebra consisted of 70 marks then calculus 70 analytical geometry 60 marks od 70 vector analysis 60 and statics and dynamics 70 so more or less marks was also same or equal for each unit so let's see the paper i will assume that you guys had gone through the paper because it is now more than 2 weeks that paper was done on the what was the date after six there was sunday on which i think it was 24 or 25th so, so it is more than 2 weeks so now i will assume that you have you have gone through the paper so this was the first question and this was for part 1 of first question that is compulsory question what they have asked this question of linear algebra they said v1 v2 and v3 v3 vectors of the space r4 thus this vector spans thus this vector that is fourth vector belongs to span of v1 v2 v3 this is direct question where you need to check whether this vector belong to span of any vector how would you check the span if this vector it belongs to span of this vector then it's into some combinations have the time constraint we have to discuss the entire paper within limits of 2 uh, hours so it is not possible to cover the entire paper in hours so we will what will we do we will discuss the approach that how to approach the question and after that i'll give you answer you guys have to calculate and you guys have to proceed the calculation what it is going to be okay so how would you do this paper this question when we are three vectors that are spanning r4 are they spanning v and does this vector be span of this vector this vector belongs to span of these vectors that must have been written linear combination vectors right Let's assume that this is, this belongs to span and it can be written as a time v1 time v the values of v1 v2 a into minus 1 plus b minus 1 1 1 minus plus c 1 1 right and if i equal all these equation then we will get coefficient first would be the coefficient of 2a minus b plus c then minus a plus c after that you get 3a plus b plus 9 and fourth one is a minus b. so if we equate these coordinates this vector then you will get four equation and these equations are a minus b plus c then minus a plus b equal to minus 1 and then you get 3a plus b plus 9 last one is minus minus 5c so using any three equation you can find out three variables that is a b c and after finding out these variables these a b c must satisfy the fourth equation if the so we will find out a b and c how would you find out first one let's then check this one this calculation would be easier na ek bar inko subtract kar denge to a would be out there and then we will eliminate a by from these equation multiply this by 2 
and then add going to be that is nine one plus times so a minus two a that is zero and from then two a two b plus minus b that is b. then two c plus c that is three and that is minus two plus three and then if I subtract one from one from one then we will get two a minus two is zero then plus two and from here you would get plus six and on the right hand side you will get so you are getting if I divide by two it would be b plus this is equal to by two now see this if I say this is if I say that this, this is from fifth and sixth you are getting one is equal to three by two and that is not possible that is why these equations are not consistent and the solution for these equation does not exist and that is why the given vector that they had said is not a part of span of these vectors why this is so this since these are span of they, this forms a half part of the span of r4 why because r4 consists of four vectors basis of r4 r4 is four di dimensional so we require four vectors at least at least four linearly dependent vectors who can span entirely r4 and one vector is missing in that and that is why this is not spanned by these vector that is the justification as they had said justify your answer okay then next question is find the rank and nullity of transformation this by the transformation is defined such way, in such a way they had said find the rank and nullity of the linear transformation say, say see they had asked only rank and nullity could be there to find out one of them and then we will apply rank nullity theorem Hana. so linear transformation is given from r3 to r3 and if i want to find out rank of we will find out first nullity that is easier one find out so what is nullity nullity is dimension of dimension right if nullity dimension of null space first we null space so how null space is defined? nt and nt is defined as all those x y z as this element of r3 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 is all those x y z for which t of x y z is what does that mean t of x y z is equal to 0 hence let's write all these conditions so you get x plus z is equal to 0 and x plus y plus 2 z is equal to x y plus 3 z is equal to from this equation we at x is minus z and if put or you can write z is equal to x so that we will be able to eliminate z if x z is equal to minus x then from this equation we get x plus y minus 2 z that is minus x plus y equal to and if this is the thing then you will get x is equal to y if x is equal to y and z is equal to minus x then we will be getting x plus x at, at the place of y we would have x and 3z is minus of that is why x minus 3y x is equal to and if this is true then you don't have any value for x this is equal to 0 you are not able to find out x from anywhere that is why x is independent variable and your x y z is going to of the kind n t is at the place of x we have x at the place of y we would have again x is y is equal to x and then at the place of z you have minus x 
So N T can be written as x times one one minus one. N T that is null space is spanned by one one minus, and this is nothing but base is open. Base is open. One one minus one, and then what is the dimension of null space? It is number of elements in the basis, so it is going to be one only. This is one dimension equal to one. That is number of elements in the null space. If it is one, then rank of anti Anti rank is this rank is what rank is dimension of range space and nullity in one then by rank nullity term what is by what is rank nullity rank nullity term is that rank of a Rank plus nullity of a term equal to dimension that where you domain have a term linear transformation. Then this is equal to dimension. In our case, is R three to R three that is both U and V are R three. What is dimension of R three? That is dimension of U is Find out rank. Write this as it is. Plus nullity, nullity one dimension. That is dimension R three. So rank is. This is how you need to find out the rank and nullity of the transformation. Just you are only required to find out rank and nullity. Not the null space and range space both, but one we need. We needed to find out because either you can find out nullity and or you can find out find out range, rank, rank of the linear transformation. But to find out nullity, here because you don't need to solve the constant on the right hand side now. And after that, we had applied rank nullity. Next question is find the values of P, Q, and R and Q for which limit exists. In provided that this limit exists and equals to one, so directly once it we put zero directly, then it is going to be zero into something zero minus Q sine zero is zero divided by zero. What is this? This is by zero. And if a zero by zero format, that it then it is one of the indeterminate, right? What we for solving the indeterminate form? We usually apply L Hopital rule. What is that? It says that if your function is in the indeterminate form, then you can uh, that is in zero by zero or infinity by infinity. Then you do derivative separately for numerator and separately for denominator. So we will apply that thing only that limit x up and they said x is equal to one. So but so then it is going to be in form and it would go by zero. So what we need. It to apply L Hopital. To apply that, then you have to do derivative of numerator differently and der derivative of denominator separately. So let's do it. Derivative of numerator would be x in minus of sine x of omega plus one plus x. Derivative of x that is one minus Cos x. That is derivative of denominator. If we put 
x is equal to 0 again, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 1 plus p minus q and this is p by x square. If we do not have upper portion equal to 0, then your value would be infinity, but we have this equal to infinity now. Why? Because the limit exists and they had said this is equal to 1. So, our only choice is the upper portion should be equal to 0 and what does that mean? That means your 1 plus p minus q equal to at x is equal to 0. That is why equal to 1 plus then again we, then it would turn into by 0 again we would apply L hospital rule it would becomes so equal to we put kar denge let's first put minus 1 plus x x simply 1 plus p cos x One, we cancelled out and we are left with other values. So, if you would put x is equal to 0, this is going to be 0, this is 1 plus 1 that is 1 minus 1 that is 0 and divided by 3 x square. So, 0 by 0 format is again, again and then we need to apply again L minus p sin x equal to 1 minus p cos x x cos x plus this and minus minus plus sin x divided by and if you would put x is equal to 0 then this term is again 0 because this is 0 then x would make this term second term 0 and sin x sin 0 is 0 divided by 0 so again we have to apply and hope it and it would become this minus p cos x minus minus plus p x sin x minus p cos x plus cos x divided by 6 this should be 1 now put limit x approaches to so this will become p from the first minus p from the first one then 0 plus 1 by 6 equal to 1 and how to be minus plus 1 is equal to 5 this implies minus 5 and if p minus 5 by 2 then this is value of 1 minus 5 by 2 that is answer this is very easy question, but you have to apply repeated application of L hospital rule. Then you would get the required answer because they had said limit exists. And if limit exists, then your entire value should be either in the some finite value or it should be of the form 0 by 0. And every time whenever you put 0 by 0, you will get some of the relation in P and Q and use that you will, would be able to find out the value of. Then examine the convergence of one log x over one plus x dx. What is this? From which topic this question belongs to? This is a question from indefinite. Huh? Whenever you put a one that is zero, but that is not the region. But zero is if equal to here, then you would get log zero is minus n. That is why x is equal to zero is point of infinite distance right and if it is point of infinite distance then what will we either we can apply some of the comparison test or you directly use. what is the comparison test of infinite determinant if you have some function fx then you have to select other function gx then fx by gx should be some should be some finite value now and what is then the rule that if it turns out to be finite value then 
एफ एक्स एंड जी एक्स वुड बिहेव अलाइक राइट दैट इज द रूल फॉर अप्लीकेशन ऑफ इनफाइनाइट डेरिवेटिव का कंपेरिजन टेस्ट ना तो लेट्स ट्राई टू डू इट पॉइंट जीरो If zero point of infinite discontinuity, then we will check x is x for one. I have to select this as minus f. Why? Because the uh, comparison test which we are going to use only works upon positive term values, and between zero to one, log x is always negative. So to make it positive, we should apply my, by minus one because multiplication by any scalar and in particular by minus one is not going to change the convergence of the integral, right? So we will we can write this f x is equal to minus of log x and then take x is one by root. X. Keep this in mind whenever we use. Comparison integral usually we take maximum power of x as common and then we take g x as the, there. But here g x equal to one by x would not work because g x by g x is equal to one by x is divergent and anything that is divergent that would make it the value of a x by g x would be see f x by g x is going to be infinite and at that time divergence of g x would be conclusionless. Okay. And we need some conclusion. That is why we have selected. Try g x is equal to one by x. You get why we are not using g x there. G x is equal to one by x. That is maximum power of x. So we have to use something else as g x. And let's try with g x is equal to one by root x. And if this g x is equal to one by root x, then limit x approaches to the point of infinite discontinuity. So that here we have zero as point of infinite discontinuity. So limit would be limit x approaches to zero. F x by g x is going to be minus of by one divided by one. And what is turn out it? What is this equal to limit approaches? So minus of root x would be on the upper side log x for one. If you would put x is and this is going to be zero into Minus infinity, that is zero into infinity, and zero into infinity is one of the indeterminate form. What is it? Yeah. Infinity, one of the indeterminate indeterminate. So what will we? We will try to make this either zero by zero or infinity by infinity. But will all a portion finite. Don't need to change this. So we will limit x approaches to one over one. Separate the remaining. Limit x approach. So I can write this log x over one by root x. Now upper portion is finite. Nitty wala bhi infinite hai. And hence it infinity by infinity. That is determinant. And this is going to be one. We are left with minus log of x limit, x. and if by infinity, then can I apply L Hopital rule? We apply L Hopital going to be one by x, and in the denominator we would have minus one by x raised to three by two. The derivative second one going to be limit x approach. Minus minus would going to be x and that is zero. So if you have limit this equal to zero, limit f x by g x is equal to zero, then your g x should be convergent. And we know by p test, by p test, one by root x is by p test. By x raised to power p converges if p is less than one. 
and here p is less than 1 that is why this is convergent and if this is convergent then fx and gx in this case gx equal to gx conver convergence of gx applies fx need to state the result that we compare result of that comparison next question A variable plane with constant at a constant from the origin O cuts the axis the points A. So if dimension then we are dealing with the axis at A. Say this is x, y, this is z, then A then would look like this. So that the locus of the centroid of the tetrahedron A B C this. How would you find out? First tell me what is the equation of n which passes through the coordinate axis from A B C. If I say that it cuts at A and this descends A then the point coordinate is 0. I can assume that 0 are coordinate. Then the plane would be by A, by by B is the equation of a plane in its coordinate format. You know? Whenever when it cuts coordinate axis at some, some points, then it or you can say this is intercept form. Steps with respect to different or perpendicular axis so this is the intercept form of the plane a b c and if the plane then we have we need to find out locus of the centroid of the tetrahedron o a b c figure tetrahedron then we need to find out locus of its centroid. Tetrahedron passes through four points. So these are the four points. What, would, what is going to be centroid of this tetrahedron? What is centroid of tetrahedron which passes through four, four points? x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, z1, z2, z3, z4, last kya hota hai? w1, w2, w3. So centroid would be x1 plus y1 plus z1 plus w1 by 4 then adding another 4 vectors coordinate wise divided by 4 and in the last one third coordinate division by 4. So same thing would be here we have 4 points so centroid would be centroid say the centroid is x1 y1 z1 centroid then it is sum of first four, four vectors that is by four second would by four third would and then you need to compare these values so it would be a by four by one four x one by one add one, one variable plane, यहाँ पे one by p होता है, और p ये headset, this is equal to p, is the distance of the point from the origin and here we have this distance as three, so now you need to apply all these values, but <coughs> now a is equal to 4x1, b is equal to 4y1, or you can say if x, y, z is x1 y1 z1 it locus we need to we need to find out so x1 y1 z1 would be replaced by x y z and a would be equal to 4x y put these values equation 1 <coughs> and we will get the required answer 
इट इज गोइंग टू बी नहीं नहीं दिस इज वन दिस इज वन ओनली बट वट वी नीड टू डू इज रिस्पेक्टिवली द डिस्टेंस इज पी पी फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन हाउ वुड यू फाइंड आउट दिस प्लेस डिस्टेंस ही कम्स अंडर द पॉइंट वेन यू डील विद कोर्डिनेट एक्सिस एंड देन को साइन वाला फॉर्म फॉर्मेट इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म में देर इज ऑलवेज वन बट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दैट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ओरिजन सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ एंड कैन आई राइट दिस by a plus y by z y by b plus z by c minus 1 is equal and then find out distance of this from any point what will we, we will put the coordinates of that point into this and then we will divide this by coefficient of squares of squares of the coefficient of x plus y plus z so find out its what will we, is 0 0 0 here and get g so minus 1 out of this divided by squares of sum of the squares of the coefficient of x y z so it 1 by a square plus 1 by b by z equal to so this one 3p 1 by 3p i can write equal to under the root One by a square by b, and if I do square both sides, this is nine p by over a square plus one. Now we need locus of the center. For locus of centroid, a is equal to x b for y, and c is equal to four z. So we These values and it is nine p square by six x square plus one by six y square. Multiply this six this side and you will get the required answer. So, we have to do that. Let's move. This was the compulsory question. Now we need to. sectional question section wise question and since time is 11 we need to we need to increase the speed so we will discuss only the approach after that you call the question paper i'll tell you the answer solution of this would solution of this would be provided upon the website that it would be there so let's discuss the approach only they are saying if the matrix of a linear r3 to r3 relative to basis 1 then find the matrix of t relative to basis how would you find out first you find out the linear right and how would you find out the linear transformation have been provided with the coordinates of the image na of e1 ka what is this associated matrix associated matrix nothing but if try to write out write down x y z then it are the coordinates of the man coordinates of the basis pose of 1 0 1 0 so coordinates of the first vector that is 1 0 take image first vector then this coordinate of this first vector is its basis here is standard basis so it is going to be 1 time 10 plus minus 1 time 10 time 1 minus 1 then you and it direct and e but we required linear transformation and linear tra transformation what we require a image of an arbitrary element let's first write the arbitrary element 
so arbitrary element of r3 would be of type x y z right x y z can be times 1 0 elements and base is standard base and if you apply t then x y z are scalar they would be outside then we will what is t 1 to 0, 0 that is 1 minus 1 plus y have 1 1 plus z Five minus eight and G. Right? This is the linear term. But we need to find out now. Then find the matrix of T relative to the basis this. Now you need to find out matrix of T and matrix of T what coordinates of the basis that is the basis right one one s a times here combination i say a one b one a one a two a three b one b two one 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 plus a one a two times one one a three times find out a one a two a three कहाँ से find out करो? One one करो यहाँ से one one would be provided from here. Then you would have equation three variable u. And again you find out one one and linear combination one S B factor. Then you need to find out T O so zero. One, it would be one. Then the required associated matrix that you need for say K would be coordinates of first vector would be first column that is here you would get A1, A2, A3 and coordinates of second vector would be one B. And coordinates third term should be written as third column. Let me tell you what is the answer because you need to solve. Solution would be on your part here. I would discuss only conceptual. So this turns out to be two minus two for one minus two. Last one minus 1, 2. Let's move to the next question. Next question is evaluate the triple integral with volume solid in parabolas z and z is equal. So there are two parabolas. How would you, what is the volume of an figure? Triple integral x d by d they had given us z that z, z changes from here to here so we have the change in z now what is change in z one of z minus other z so you can subtract both of them them and you values of z so you can subtract this minus 1 5x square then you need by now the region will as we or whatever you want to see. then you need to find out the limits here and how would you find out limits one thing you can do is change into directly spherical coordinate here y square is there or put x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta and then you can go and then your region would be something 
Z is done from here to here and X and Y would be calculated over where? How would you calculate X and Y then? After writing this, let me write. Level हो जाएगा D. I have calculated and it would be six minus minus five seven x square minus five y square minus twelve x square minus y square minus five y square. That is my and B. Now, if you x is equal to r cos y is equal to r sin such spherical spherical and we have taken centrical and we consider from here to here and then after substitute this you have dx into y that would be Jacobian. Jacobian of R D R then spherical or cylindrical coordinates range of R and theta R ranges from one. One is so x square plus y square one is radius the range. Now you can calculate values two to two pi one. Put all these values get minus r square hoga kya satur punch bar minus six and minus six r square r dr d convert the x square as well into r to the at the place x we have put r square now calculate you would get the answer so let me tell you answer answer is 3v by root that i have calculated but there may be some of the mistakes so if you get different answers then check it one then show that the equation represents an elliptical paraboloid I'll also find its principal axis and principal plane if it would have been an elliptical paraboloid then what is the definition definition what is the standard equation of an elliptical paraboloid x square the standard elliptic let's try to make this into can we make let's write x square y square And what we need to is we need coefficient of some m x square y square and z only so club these coefficients and try to make x into perfect square if i club this together this is x square x right to x square minus from here you can y square seven Z plus in plus Z. What is this? If I add and subtract plus plus y square plus y hai. So how would you make perfect square of this? Do a half of the coefficient of linear term that is y that is one by two and add and subtract its square. So that would be plus one by four. And you minus LZ so it becomes se, times x minus whole square plus 
plus the outside and y plus 1 by 2 then minus lz then you can write this as x minus square agar le then minus 8 minus plus in and so x minus y plus कॉमन लोगे एल इन एड माइन ऐसे भी आई रहा चार चार से मल्टीप्लाई करो भारती नाउ इस एट एक्स एक्स माइन कैपिटल वाई इज y plus y two z is equal to z and this is star star becomes x square y square right hand tell z hence it is equivalent to standard equation of elliptical paraboloid for paraboloid and that is why represent an elliptical paraboloid paraboloid right Isn't it? Why that? Why you? Why na? Why but? Why then? Add and plus one. Adjust accordingly. Plus one. Plus one. Check with. Ah, will come. Minus. Minus eight minus three. That is eleven cancel हो जाएगा and that is minus twelve z. This is twelve z. A yeah. Twelve z. That is that. Y is y plus. This is going to be y square y square. this is the answer and then what you need to find out is equation of also find its principal axis it is of the format x square plus y square z square z square is missing na term of z square is missing from the standard equation that is its principal axis is z is equal to g and then you need to find out principal planes principal if z is Well, x is if z is equal to zero, then principal planes would be x is y is equal. That would be perpendicular planes, na. But x is equal to zero is x minus two, and then y plus one, y is equal to minus one. Let's move. Next question is the plane x y a plus y y b. y c is equal to one. It's the coordinate axis a b respectively. So, this plane ki humne pehle bhi likh. What was? Aise ho. O. I had said that these that are nothing but coordinate. So b b.
so that the generation of the cone generated by the lines drawn from the origin O to circles A, B, C. Now we need is first we need to find out the equation of cone which passes through plane and the circle which passes through O, A, B, C. What is the equation of a circle? Passing O A B O is L four points. Find out the equation of circle. What is the general equation of a circle? X square plus Y square plus Q X two P Y. Passing through O A B general format. So X square plus Y square. X, Y, and we have four four constants or four variables. W. Put the values of A because this circle passes through O, A, B. So put all the values of A, B, C because this circle passes through points. So points would satisfy the equation. And by putting these points. You would get four equation, and you have four variables to determine. So that is not very much difficult, and you would get the equation of circle, and that is turning out to be x square plus y square plus x square plus root plus minus a x minus b y minus. So because if it passes through zero, zero, then constant term would be zero. And hence, this is the equation of circle. Now we need to find out equation of a cone, which passes circle and this plane, the plane they had written. What is the equation of a two degree cone? Equation of a cone which passes circle and plane. What we need to do is we homogenize the equation of the cone. That is the. So how would you homogenize this? From equation one, you. X Y A passes through this and this circle is homogenized equation and homogenized equation can be find out by writing. See, these are of degree two, so we need to make these terms of second degree and what will we by multiply this by one and at the place of one we will write this one degree term and hence entirely it would. Second by a by by b. This the equation of one would be homogenized, है ना? Solve it. Get the required answer. Let me tell you what the answer. बता दूँगी. Your answer would be a y z. Into b plus c by b plus b by c by b plus x z x or e sir solve करने की it was very easy to need not to do anything but but you should know how to find out find out equation of circle which passes through four points so now the write the general equation of circle then put all the four points and find out the four four constants or four variable which are you the equation okay after that. That a is equal to this. Verify Kelly Hamilton theorem for the matrix A, so that this where i is the identity order of. What is the Kelly Hamilton theorem? Kelly Hamilton theorem so says that every square matrix every square. Characteristics. What is the characteristic of this matrix? The i is equal to one minus one. This turns out to be right. If I expand along the first row, 
lambda square minus 1. You need to check lambda cube minus 1 equal to 0 whether the equation this satisfies or not. That is, alag kiya, yehi ho, lambda cube, 1 minus lambda into lambda square minus lambda. Lambda minus lambda cube minus lambda square minus lambda plus one <coughs> equal to zero. Factors your matrix that is why a cube minus plus i. Check whether this satisfies or not, and then you have to prove that so that a n is equal to this. How would you prove second part by applying So, what is the principle of mathematical induction? You need to prove for n is equal to 1 that result is true. Then for n is equal to k, we will assume the result is true. And then we will show for n is equal to k plus 1, the result is true. So for n is equal to, we need to prove for n is equal to 1. Yes, they are saying for n is greater than or equal to 3. So we will assume for n is equal to 3, from the Kelly Hamilton forum only we get a3 a square plus Hence, for n is equal to 2, this is satisfied, hana. Right? n is equal to 3, satisfied. We will assume that n is, for n is equal to k, this is, that means, a minus plus a square, right. And we need to, for a, for a k plus 1, what will we do? We will multiply this equation, throw out by a, the a k plus 1, this is going to be a, a minus 1 plus a, minus i and this would becomes a cube value put for a a minus 1 plus a cube a square a i and this becomes right and then club this term a cube plus a square minus i in ko ikatha le lo what is this a k plus 1 to a k minus one a minus one minus one a minus ten plus a square a q minus one so a k minus one plus a square minus minus i plus a i which the minus i which square minus a yaha pe club ho gaya a square one i would be and what is this but a k this is a k plus a k plus hence it is the result is n is equal to k plus 1 and hence by principle of mathematical induction this is proved for n greater than or equal to also you need to find out a 40 kaise find out karoge in this relation a is equal to 40 and then they back substitute all the values you could get a 38 fir a 38 calculate karna could get something in a 36 and there would be some kind of repetition and you will get an idea ki last mein kya karna Justify whether 0, 0 is an point of the function. How would you find out maxima and minima? This is a case of real analysis or complex analysis that is maxima and minima topic. Kaise nikalte hain? One formula we do have is we can construct the values for the table. Three functions dete hain. D, X, X, D, Y, Y, wo nikal ke.
वैल्यू के बेस पे वी डिफाइन कर दे, देखते हैं कि दिस इज मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम इफ दिस इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो देन वील वी से दिस इज पॉइंट ऑफ मैक्सिमा अलोंग विद डी एक्स एक्स साइन ऑफ डी एक्स एक्स या फिर यू वी यूज ए माइनस बी माइनस ए सी एक्स वाई ए इज एक्स 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 वाई वाई रिजल्ट सेज दैट इफ स्क्र माइनस ए सी ग्रेटर देन ए इज ग्रेटर देन एंड इफ लेस देन एंड ए इज लेस देन देन इट पॉइंट टू एंड इफ बी माइनस ए सी This is less than when you have saddle point. Saddle point is what? Either maxima or minima. And if B square minus A C equal to zero, then further invert. Let's check check these values. If I say f x y or then a is x x second derivative of first derivative is x raised to the power eight x cube x y that is eight x y y y is y y y is an unit by ek bar x x sign this is per minus what is b square That is x then minus ac minus this is thirty six that it is minus eight x. It becomes L common minus L common x square. Now this is the sign of b square minus at the point of when x square minus y is less than zero. This is negative, and when x square minus y is greater than zero, this is positive. so we are not getting any fixed number and this is sometime it is positive sometime is this, it is negative over r that is why this is neither a point of maxima nor a point of minima and uh, that is why at zero kya hoga or you can at zero only so hoga to further investigation is required you cannot say directly but what will you now then is this somehow that it different values and how would you manage this can be break into factor here x y can it we factor this aayega na factorize into minus x square y plus x, x square y plus y factor from here take x square 
x square minus y. Factors x square y. Whenever to x square, sometimes it gives as positive value, sometimes it negative. That is why at x gives on changing sign. Hence, it is neither point of magnitude. Find the equation here through the circle. This is the circle. Following in following to tell, first tell me I have been provided the equation equation of Circle that is plane. Circle plus plane is square. So it x square y square minus 4 5 plus minus 6. Plus lambda time equation of y. Going to be the equation of sphere. But we need to calculate. Yeah. and lambda is one variable that is why at least we require one condition and they had given one condition in each, each of the part. So first part they had said the given sphere passes through this point and if it passes through this point then this point would lie on this and it would be able to find out this. So that would be equation of sphere and at this time lambda would be equal to here if you point one minus then lambda would be minus 6 minus 6 by 10 and second time they are saying that the given circle is a great circle of the sphere if it's a great the sphere and what is the condition of great circle radius of sphere Would be equal to radius or another in another way great circle ka hoga when center of the sphere and center of the circle would coincide the radius will be proper hogi na or center equal to यहाँ से निकालेंगे सेंटर ऑफ स्फीयर यहाँ से सेंटर ऑफ स्फीयर क्या होता है माइनस यू माइनस माइनस बी एंड फ्रॉम वेयर वी विल गेट सेंटर ऑफ सर्कल सर्कल इज वन ट्राइ टू मेक व्हाट परफेक्ट स्फीयर मेथड यहाँ से आप होगा तो दिस इज तो यू वुड हैव माइनस फोर प्लस then this is out plus 5 minus 3 plus 3 plus 9 yaha ajayega minus 9 plus 4 add kya na wo minus 4 ajayega and saath mein 9 add karo ajayega after that add ka saath karo that would be 1 square per add minus 1 so you would be getting this equal to 30 and here center is equal to center of the sphere find out center that is that way you would get the value of lambda and put the lambda back into get the required sphere. next question find the rank and rank of the matrix or reduce signal sabse easy question hai na it. You have to just apply row applications of all the terms. And what is row reduced Eklan form? Row reduced Eklan form, wherever you have first non zero entry, make this as one, and rest of all the entries in that, that particular column would be final the row reduced Eklan form hogi that would be of the format. One, 
and if you are able to make another one here, then it equal to zero zero. But we are not able to here it one minus one one zero one minus one minus one. Fine. Whenever you strike with one in any of the row, then make all the entries below as well as as above it at zero. So this is one below it. All the entries. So in the second, then you take one here, then one above. So this all the entries. So and third column then have here one. All the entries above this one. All the entries. We are not able to go anything upper and lower. This is the row reduced Eklund form, and if they would ask the rank, all the non-zero number of non-zero rows would be rank of this. Here one, tell you how to apply row element. Then trace the by square. On tracing of the curve continuously from two years, we are getting the question: How would you trace a curve? What are the steps for? Now, proximity. I replace. We have even powers of y now. Only even powers of y, so it is symmetric about x axis. Origin pass cut. Constant comes so not pass through. Does no. Constant. After that, what we check is intersection with coordinate x. How would you want to check intersection with y axis? Then put x is equal to zero, and if x is equal to zero, get y is equal to y square. Is, that is y is equal to, and if you y is equal to zero, then we will get one by two. So one by two zero and zero for point with coordinate. That is point of intersection with x and y axis. Half. Then what we need to check is next is assumption. First we will check parallel one. They are equal to degree of the degree of the curve. Then we will say that only parallel asymptotes are there, and they are less than the degree of the parallel asymptotes. Degree of the curve, then we will say that the curve have oblique asymptotes as well. At asymptotes for calculating parallel to x-axis, what will we will put coefficient of y-axis parallel to x-axis. Y ke ek bar y ke coefficient highest degree power y ke coefficient equal to zero par put kar do. Ek bar highest degree power of x ke par coefficient. X ke coefficient to put karoge that is y square. Y is equal. It means x is one by different. So x is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero is x. This is our good way. Our y is equal to or then x is one and. After that, we need to check is. Where positive, negative are there? 
ऑप्शन ऑफ दैट और दैट वी विल मैनेज आवर टर्म और कैन फाइंड आउट वैल्यू ऑफ आदर एक्स और वाई सो इट इज मोस्ट इजी टू फाइंड आउट वाई सो दैट इज गोइंग टू एक्स माइनस वन और प्लस माइनस एक्स कंसीडर द रीजन एक वी हैव दिस रीजन एक है रीजन दिस वन एंड रीजन If x is less than minus one, x is less than minus one, then this is going to be negative. This is going to be negative, and that is imaginary. So this does not exist. Now, up is up. Then from this x is minus one. Again, this is going to be negative. Now minus one to zero. Upper portion is always going to be negative. माइनस वन टू जीरो में नेगेटिव आएगा क्या एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन इज नहीं 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 क्या टू एक्स माइनस वन वाई इज इक्वल थ्री इज इक्वल माइनस वन अंडर द रूट माइनस वन पुट दैट इज पॉजिटिव टू पुट माइनस वन हियर समथिंग विद नेगेटिव साइन Say half minus of half that is going to be minus half positive. Minus one by two minus. Oh, niche wala ho jayega. Write this as this. Two x minus one four. Have any term minus one to one. So on the upper portion you have negative, but on the lower one also we have negative, na? Because at that time this positive, but this always less than minus one, and hence negative to negative positive. Why right? this qualifies for being a region of the? Uh, then we need zero to half. Zero to half. This is negative, and this is also negative. This also again qualifies वाला पोर्शन हाँ बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट हाफ टू जीरो हाफ टू जीरो फाइव पुट हाफ टू जीरो हाफ टू आता है फाइव फोर इज देयर फाइव पुट थ्री बाय फोर देन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी बाय फोर माइनस वन एंड दिस बिकम्स पॉजिटिव बट द लोअर पोर्शन इज अगेन नेगेटिव एंड हेंस दिस After this, if x greater than one, x is one, then this is positive. This is also positive. Can exist. curve x or no x greater than the region of existence and now we will assume all the values they are saying curve passes through here and x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 1 is the point of not point asymptote uh, so at they are saying the curve touches so of this way because how to say then it is symmetric about x axis and the same portion as it on the upper side it would be replicated on the lower side and again they are saying x is one is asymptote curve cannot be so it is going to be and then this is also asymptote but if curve is upper portion This is how you need. Next is set the locus of line with line this or circle. Let me give you an approach only. Don't have that. But you can do after telling. What to do? 
since they are saying that the locus of a line which meets the lines this line what is this line equation of y minus mx plus lambda times z minus that is the this combined line and then y plus mx plus another constant say some line passes from these lines and the circle the circle is x square plus y square now the line passes through these points so all of them would satisfy now can i put z is equal to 0 in these lines and then solve for lambda and mu if i put z is equal to 0 in these lines then get y minus mx plus lambda z is equal to 0 minus lambda equal to 0 and then we have z is equal to 0 here so we will get y plus then what we need to do is find out x and y from here and we will put that in here in the this equation then you need to find out lambda and mu so first you need to solve these for x and y what will you do? subtract both of the equation we will get after so add both get 2y is equal to lambda c plus mu y is equal to lambda by 2 lambda minus then from for x we get what will we subtract so get 2mx plus mu minus lambda c that is why x is equal to two plus lambda into for the values of x and y and these x and y should satisfy this only then we all the four conditions would be satisfy and we will get if i put this this, this as here so it plus lambda where c divided by 4 m square plus square by 4 lambda minus square and this and then after this this you need to find out lambda and mu how would you find out lambda and mu from the first equation first two equations from here lambda and mu find out lambda and mu and replace these values in the form of x and y x y and z and you will get the required condition vahi ban jayega okay all this will get the after that this is second portion second part section b first we have till now we have discussed section 1 only so in the section section at first question compulsory and it will why is it q it a had given you the so find out the solution of initial value from dy by dx minus 2 x y is equal to 2 y 0 equal to 1 in the form y is equal to what is this error form and how this is defined error function can be padha hai because no error function is by root y definition error function write it we need to that solution of that equation could be in form form we will see later this happen or not note but what is this that is dy by d Y. How would you solve the? What is the solution of linear equation y? It is you need to find out in factor factor p dx here p minus two x is to power minus x square. Then you need to have solution of here equation how to be y integrating factor. Then 
जीरो टू एक्स क्यू इन फैक्टर क्यू इज दर्म ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड टू इन टू इन टू पॉइंट आ गया टू साथ में था वो कैंसिल आउट फोर नाउ बट इट बिकम्स फ्रॉम हेयर इट वाई दिस टाइम एक्स के बाई टू बाई डू एशन एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टर्म यू विल गेट फॉर देर वुड बी हेयर ऑल्सो वाई इज इक्वल टू ना एट जीरो पे और जीरो वन ओनली वन इस साइड आके प्लस आएगा दिस इज जीरो टू एक्स आउटसाइड एस टू पावर माइनस एक्स स्क्र डी एक्स एरर फंक्शन फॉर्मेट वट विल मल्टीप्लाई बाई रूट फाइव डिवाइड बाई रूट फाइव नाउ सी बट एरर फंक्शन बाई रूट फाइव जीरो एक्स इज पावर माइनस टी बिकॉज पैर change in parameter does not change the value of integral that is why this param into integral 0 to x e is to power minus t square dt is to power minus x square one and same thing that is the y is equal to 1 tha na wo yahan aake one ho then you need to solve this nothing but given that laplace of f of t f of p so that integral 0 to f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x dx then you need to solve it how would you solve this direct integration nahi integration direct hum kya karenge we'll use direct formula aur formula kya kehta hai what is the formula of laplace laplace of f of by t kya hoga 0 to infinity पावर माइनस एक्स बाई टी एफ समेज एफ टी बाई टी देन टू इट्स के बाद इफ यू जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी टी टू इट्स डेरिवेटिव बाय पार्ट्स दैट इज फर्स्ट फंक्शन इज एज टू पावर माइनस एस टी एंड देन सेकेंड फंक्शन फर्स्ट फंक्शन एफ टी बाई टी एंड देन ई रेज टू पावर माइनस एस टी इट इज एज सेकेंड फंक्शन and average for a and then put s is equal to 0 you will write s approaching to 0 then you will get integral in this now and then we will say that this is f of x f of x is nothing but laplace of and after that you can directly put value wahan pe inki values put kar dena f t by t will is to f x ka ho jayega Is Then they are saying, next question is, this is a question from statics. A cylinder of radius a passes a vertical wall along a generating line. Radius a का कोई cylinder है generating line के along touch कर रहा है. So generating line के the so generating line of cylinder. वो टच कर रहा है तो सिलेंडर ऐसा हो सकता है क्या एक्सिस ऑफ द सिलेंडर इज फिक्स ओरिजेंट तब ऐसा नहीं तभी तक एक्सिस इज दिस इज द जनरेटिंग लाइन एंड नाउ इट नाउ इट इज एक्सिस इज फिक्स्ड ओरिजेंट बैकवर्ड इट वुड अगर ऐसा सिलेंडर होगा तो दिस इज द एक्सिस This is how it. A uniform flat beam of length L and weight W are a clear figure. A weight of uniform beam length L and weight W is rest here. And if rest here, then there rest with an x contact with the wall. Wall. This is the, there would be R. Or weight would be 
slide downwards it is you know the forces are equal there would be point to wo milna chahiye for the equilibrium all the forces should be in equilibrium na i say that weight x x down weight always x downward it would be reaction one reaction R one, R two. This is the weight at point center of gravity. So, niche lagta hai, and this is from V of length L. So, ye L by two. Then, all making an angle of forty five with the vertical. This angle is for frictional forces are neglected and show that this A by L. is equal to 5 plus 5 this is that we need for clear depiction of the figure what will we take this one the beam this is the weight of the that works vertically downward there would be sir this is all of them should coincide on one point Because our figure for yehi different. So this is the weight W that is working vertically downwards. Then 45 degree is the angle. If I assume that this takes an angle at theta degree, then this is going to be now. Then it 90 होगा ना ये वाला point where they are coincide. Where this find out because at all the points should coincide at one point this is going the reaction 1 this is 45 degree if the angle it is the angle 5 degree if we that this is the angle theta then this angle vertically downward it is 45 then going to be 45 degree our alternate angle that is theta that is one. and if 45 then it is again 45 degree it is 90 then it is 5 minus And this is ninety. Then this angle is na. Then this is ninety minus. And then we would apply the results. One which is which results we would apply that that is one is m n theta. If I apply write this directly, then it is going to be.
that is ang beta is 45 that was then if it divides into m into n ratio but here the uniform of the road is uniform is uniform so should be divided into one ratio one and hence mn theorem says that mn theorem ki application kya kehti hai m plus n cot theta is equal to m cot theta minus n cot theta so that would be 1 plus 1 m cot theta cot theta minus cot 90 degree cot 90 cos sin cos 90 by sin 90 hota hai kya cos 90 that would be so and hence cot theta is equal to that is 45 this cot 45 is 1 and cot theta is equal to 2 we got the values of cot theta and if you have cot theta that ten, then tangent theta is 1 by 2 and then you can calculate all the angles whatever you required in the trigonometry and after that we will apply Lamy's theorem Lamy's theorem says that if your reaction are R, R1, R2 R2 is another reaction or the R1 take the angle between S, R2 and W. What is the angle between R2 and W? R2. This is W. Then what is this? We have either nikala hai na? 45 degree. That is 45. Right. R1 by sin of other two angles that is 45 degree r2 by sin of other angle and then there would be w sin of other two angles and the write these angles after that you will be able to find out r1 r2 and w okay and find out this this w using fourth theta is equal to this okay value sorry then the, you will be ending up with the required answer this is just application of Lamy's theorem and M and M and theorem. After that, they are saying this is also one of the question from dynamics. This is from simple harmonic motion or simple harmonic motion. They are saying a particle is moving under simple harmonic motion at T about is about center O passes through point simple harmonic motion. And it passes through P from this point velocity along the direction OP. OP is harmonic. Can I okay. amplitude around him? But that is harmonic. Then find the time that elapses for the particle. What will be the value when the elapsed time is by 2? Now, what is this? Tire is A. Now, you will find, find out the point. Then, whenever you have simple harmonic, simple harmonic motion, what we do? We usually write the equation. What? Start N. Most of the time, any of the values simple harmonic motion tactile motion so at least that is that is equation of simple harmonic that path of simple harmonic so equation of center of orbits then you should start any question what is the here for x now most always Directed towards the x motor. Right? This is the equation now. And then you need to solve this. If we have to solve this equation by using some of the method. Kya karte hai? 2x a multiple. Equations directly. Ki kya क्या हो गया 
directly equations would be p is equal to a sin omega t1 hota hai sin omega sun and then we have a sin omega t1 and if we have velocity a is amplitude velocity v. a sin omega t dx by dt ये वेलोसिटी तो ऊपर वाले के इंटीग्रेट करके निकाल लोगे एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी ए ओमेगा कोस ओमेगा टी ए ओमेगा कोस ओमेगा एंड देन यू कैन सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशंस बाय यूजिंग एंड टाइम पीरियड इलेप्स इलेप्स वुड टाइम पीरियड क्या होगा यहां से 2 कोस इनवर्स बाय ए एडिड बाय बाय टी दिस इज द टाइम दैट यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट एंड आफ्टर दैट इन द सेकंड पार्ट We need to this put this would be some vector one i cap a two j cap right then a vector cos b vector vector i'll i'll tell you final cap i j a and you cannot change the order so first you have to write a vector then cos c a vector is going to be sin theta a1 final solution of this would be sin theta cos theta vector plus 3 the c vector aega and then do its derivative and put the value of theta is equal to pi by 2 and theta is equal to pi then you do the calculation at theta is equal to pi by 2 it should be 3 pi by 2 minus 2 eta plus 6a and at pi it at pi by 2 it is going to be Pi by two minus two alpha plus six k plus i plus nine j minus four theta is equal to pi b. Check कर लेना. Next question. Solve the differential equation. Very easy. This question. क्या करना होता है? Write this into Auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation of this is d cube minus three square for d minus two into y raised to power x plus cos x. Then you need to find out roots of this equation and roots one is roots of this equation na three plus two that is five and four plus four is five. So this is five minus five that is zero and hence this is one of the roots. And after finding one of the roots, one root, I'll by static division find out other root. One, one minus plus two. Next equation. One and four minus. That is one plus two eta. Hoga that is five eta. These are the roots that, and then complementary factor you find out. After that, you need to find out particular integral, and that is minus square plus four d raised to power x plus cos x. For e raised to power a x, what is the particular? Put f of d. This is gonna f of a may provided f of a. And then for cos x, what we need this a square by minus a square, and then solve to so find out this particular integral. Okay, this is the approach. After that, your solution should be. Let me write the final. Right, don't struggle with the answer. So your final solution is going to be one. H to power x that is y is equal to this. 
given a e raised to power x plus e raised to power x into cos x plus particular inter integral would be x e to power x 1 by 10 cos x वो तो हमने निकाल ही लिया रूट्स वन आए थे उसके अंदर सीरीज पावर एक्स आएगा देन रूट वन पावर आई टाइम है तो इट पावर एक्स एक्स प्लस नेक्स्ट व्हेन ए पार्टिकल इज प्रोजेक्टेड फ्रॉम ए पॉइंट ओ वन ओन लेवल व्हेन ए पार्टिकल इज प्रोजेक्टेड फ्रॉम ए पॉइंट ओ वन ओन द सी लेवल विद द वेलोसिटी and angle of projection theta with the origin in particle scale its horizontal range is r1 theta k one particle project of projectile motion koi particle here point o1 k projected along point o1 a below range r1 if it further projected from a point o2 vertically above o1 is koi is upper point hai o2 at height at a height as in vertical o2 point is point Particle is projected in velocity, and the range is R two. That range, and we horizontal range. that R two is greater than R one. R two minus R one. Or ratio of this is equal to this. How would you find out this? We just directly need to solve this because. What is range? Range formula of range is R1 is square that is velocity by z sine 2. That is the angle, that is the formula for range of a projectile motion. And after that, we need to find out the values. What is the equation of projectile motion? Parpas equation of projectile motion bhi hoti hai ek. What is that equation? क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन को डायरेक्ट लिखेंगे उसके बाद उसको कर लेंगे क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन इन दिस केस इज हेयर होरिजॉन्टल इक्वेशन y0 होगा ना सी पॉइंट तो यहां व्हाट इज दिस पॉइंट तो h ना क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन y is equal to t होता है वैसे दिस क्या होती है द डिस्टेंस s is equal माइनस हाफ एटी स्क्वायर पहले स्टार्टिंग से हम पढ़ते आए हैं दैट इज क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे होता है दैट इज इनिशियल वेलोसिटी दैट इज साइन थीटा साइन थीटा माइनस हाफ एटी स्क्वायर होता है फॉर दैट इज जी एंड हेयर इफ वी विल गेट जी ए इज वी साइन थीटा बाय एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर वेलोसिटी देन आर टू माइनस R1 निकालो उसके बाद इसको सोल्व करो एंड यू विल गेट R2 टू माइनस आर वन बाई आर वन जस्ट मैन इज दर टू क्या होगा इफ क्वेश्चन पासिस थ्रू आर टू और आर टू दिस पास थ्रू एच एंड यू वुड गेट x के एच आ जाएगा बाकी y की जगह जीरो आ जाएगा तो देखो एच एंड सोल्व दीजिए After that, now since it passes through R2, 0 H would satisfy this equation and then there would be equation R2, range R2 ki ho jayegi and then R2 minus R1 calculate kar lena, after manipulation would be the result. Then evaluate the integral 1 where H 
the upper part of the above the plane bounded by the xy plane hence it verify gauss divergence theorem the question from vector analysis direct question from gauss divergence theorem every time we have this and then what is the surface 4x square plus 4y square or z square is equal to 1 or you can say this pair with radius 1 x square plus y square z square is equal to 1 by 2 this is a sphere with radius this and we need to calculate direct calculation of n cap into s n cap what we want? times r at One vector is equal to this. I say four n y square. Here with it, n cap would be radius two. In fair in spherical coordinates, so can we directly anything? X square plus y square plus z square is Calculate this. Their n is factor. So, what happens? Del n del o s o. That is x i cap by a cap. Then, then you need to calculate this. Is x by square i cap. We will getting i cap would divide by i cap to x y cap would be multiplied by y cap. j cap that y four z four z square x square. Z square, Y square. Then you put the values of Z from here. Calculate that, and after that you calculate above X is Y, above X Y plane. K X Y divided. Or you, what you can do is, क्या कर सकते? Projection ले लेंगे. Projection लोगे तो Z is equal to zero हो जाएगा on this plane. Z is equal to zero everywhere. Or एक जगह जीरो हो जाएगा देन जेड इज वहां से जेड की वैल्यू निकाल दो वन माइनस फोर एक्स स्क्र माइनस फोर जेड और वन बाय टू आएगा आफ्टर दैट कन्वर्ट दिस इनटू स्पेरिकल सेंट्री जेड से सेंट्री कल कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेट आर एज आर को वाई इज इक्वल आर साइन एन यूनिट डायरेक्टली कैलकुलेट बाय टेकिंग द प्रोजेक्शन ऑन जेड प्लेन And your answer should be pi by seven six. Once we have calculated this directly, and second time they are saying that verify Gauss divergence theorem. What is Gauss divergence theorem? Gauss divergence theorem says that f dot n vector, f dot n vector, f vector. Double integral should be equal to tri triple integral with part divergence of f vector. So we have calculated this. Now we need this one. And this one can be directly calculated by using spherical coordinates. What are the spherical coordinates? How would you convert that? Equal to r sine theta. R sine theta. Y is R sine theta. R. Theta. Yes. These are the spherical coordinates, and the sphere they divided by square plus. So 
तो लिमिट वुड बी लिमिट ऑफ तो इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो टू फाइव बाई देन योर लिमिट ऑफ आर गोज टू रेडियस दैट इज वन बाई टू जीरो टू वन बाई टू होगा देन दैट अनदर वन फाइव लिमिट and then verify that would also turn out to be 5 by 7 6 next question next is find the solution of the differential very easy how to do cross multiply going to be i cross multiply minus bx over take this side and this is going to be y cube plus x x square y square plus 8 or 4 5 Com compare this with m dx and dy where m is equal to x y cube plus 2 n is equal to x square y square 8 or 4 and then you need to check whether the exact of note for that we check curl m by curl y curl n by curl check this curl m by curl y is 6 x y square curl n by curl x is x y square hence this is an exact equation what is the solution of exact equation in y constant m dx terms of n not containing x x is Right. Some constant that is this would be solution. All this very direct question. We don't need to take any time in this. Next is also very easy. Reduce the given equation here. Piece plus y. This starts from y substitute. They had provided the sol substitute. They, this takes this very easy. Y is equal. So we need to change this d y by d x into this format, and what it going to be? Y d y is equal to, and then d x y d x y, and then take d y by d x. So what are we doing? Are we doing? Why are we doing? This is going to be dy is equal x is equal to v by y and y को क्या लिख दो तो d y is equal and you have d x is equal minus by d फिर ऊपर आ जाएगा कन्वर्ट दिस by d u by by d x is equal to फिर और by d and put all p by capital whole period capital put these values at the place of p put value at the place of x put this value and at the place of y put this value in the given equation and then equation would reduce the lerets equation aur kis form mein banega ye put turn into equal to Is equal to capital P all U plus cap direct form. Direct form. क्या होता है? Y is equal to function of at the place by V and at the place format. This is the solution of that format. Equal to C. That would be and replace U and V. After that, you need to find out singular solution. Either find out t discriminant or 
can find out p discriminant whatever you want to find out at the place of x y y so to find out single and requires quadratic end. Remnant would be solid. That is going to be what happens? B square minus 4ac is where is the y square minus ac by this is y into y plus y equal to 0 cannot be the solution from 0 it is y is equal to 4x is equal to the solution, the solution. difference next question solve the following initial value problem by using laplace transform you need to solve this by using laplace transform i would how would you solve convert apply laplace of the equation d y by d or d y by d y a plus right and what is the formula for laplace of derivative function that is right laplace raised to power n y by d raised to power n is n in the hotel s raised to power n Laplace of ft यहाँ पे y है Laplace y और minus s raised to power n y zero आएगा that you y double dash zero last week y this is the second order derivative Laplace of y t minus s1 y here then s raised to power 0 y s0 minus 4 in s laplace of y t minus y0 plus laplace of y t laplace of right put all the values s square laplace of y t come Laplace of y t. So calculate all the terms of Laplace of y t coefficient and s square minus plus three Laplace of y t. Rest of s is y zero one. So s y dash zero. That's some of y dash zero. Y zero minus four minus F less Y T plus X divided by N. Then we need Y T is like Y plus in or this cannot be solved right this as it is Laplace inverse of this then this can be solved after dividing this by partial fraction ho jayega na ke wale mein 4 aayega kya jayega nahi solve this by using partial fraction next is a particle is projected from an f at a distance root center of the force with a velocity and is moving with central acceleration acceleration find the path of motion of particle what will be the curve that be the curve path of hame nikalna hai ki path of motion hai wo ye aayega kya how would you find out first what we require is central acceleration de rakhi hai inhone that is lambda r is to power 5 minus R square. R. The R. Square. Because we 1 by R.
differential equation path is path first we know right that they are talking about path of what we require is the path of motion and that is h square plus b square by b plus square path equation of path of motion and we have p what is p here p is central acceleration so p they had said lambda into r square minus square r and this r is directed towards lambda c by and this c is direct acceleration directed towards or orbit and this r would be since 1 by r hota hai so 1 by r this is going to be lambda 1 by v raised to power 5 minus c square by v and we will put all these values there ye sari values put karke we need to solve this into form of v square and then put all these values initially when r is equal to projected r was and root c in starting then this by r then put all these values after doing integration ye differential equation hai two bar integration require hogi to c1 aur c2 do constant aayenge ek bar wo put kar do dusri bar kya put karoge this with a velocity x pehli velocity 1 by v that is 1 by root c second time ye then accelerate then solve this equation or in the last you get equal to some That theta की वैल्यू आएगी एंड इन द फाइनल आंसर यू वुड गेट कोर्स फोर थीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर सी स्क्र स्क्र माइनस थ्री और वो सब कुछ सोल्व करने के बाद दिस रिक्वायर्ड का डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वैक्टर एनालिस एंड हाउ वुड यू सोल्व दिस For a scalar point function phi, the vector point function f prove the identity. This one also find the value of this. हम ये identity करेंगे. How would you put identity? Del into phi x. मान लेंगे हम that take this, take this. But we need that phi is scalar function phi one. phi to s i phi scalar function f vector function that this f1 x f1 i cap plus f2 cap plus f3 a cap where f1 f2 are function x y x y only ya z x y z only so how would you calculate this del phi x and this del for phi of f vector phi of f factor is going to be pehle phi of f factor is phi of f factor is phi f1 i cap phi f2 take f phi would be multiplied with scalar function then we need to apply del upon del is i cap curl by curl x plus j cap curl by curl y plus k cap curl by Dot phi f1 i cap phi f2 j cap plus phi f dot phi dot i would be one j dot j would be one and k dot k would be one. Rest of all the vectors product that is i j j k and k i would be so. So we will write these values going to be i i ke saath hoga to i cap into curl by curl x. phi f1 plus k ke sath j that is curl by curl y but phi then we have curl by curl z so now phi and f both are function of x y z so once we need to apply you i write once f1 curl phi by curl x Plus second time phi would right and it would be curl f by curl x plus curl f two curl phi by curl phi by curl y plus phi outside curl f by curl y 
कर से क्या होगा डाउन साइड कर्ल फाइव बाय कर्ल वाई वाई आउट साइड कर्ल एंड यू कैन राइट ऑल द वैल्यूज टुगेदर फाइव वाले इकट्ठे कर लो बाकी देख तो इफ आई राइट कलेक्ट एफ वन आई राइट सी एफ वन आई कैप प्लस एफ टू ए कैप एफ थ्री कैप डोट फंक्शन कर्ल फाइव बाय कर्ल एक्स कर्ल फाइव बाय कर्ल वाई कर्ल फाइव राइट ना right just that at that time dot product would be there there and i would be multiplied with i they would be multiplied with okay and rest we have phi common le lo inside you have curl f1 by curl x curl f2 by curl phi curl f3 what is pehle wala f vector hai then it is nothing but डाइवर्जेंस डाइवर्जेंस क्या होता है वो डेल ओ फाइव ये डेल ओ फाइव है डेट डोट फंक्शन डोट फंक्शन कॉम्पिटेटिव ना तो पहले एफ वन लिख दो या वो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता तो डेट डेट इज डेल फाइव डोट एफ वैक्टर तो सेकेंड वाला क्या है प्लस फाइव आउट साइड एंड एफ वन एफ टू एफ थ्री आर डोट प्रोडक्ट विद एल Okay. And hence this is the identity. They will prove कर दिया. Also find the value of this. तो हम क्या मान लेंगे? Phi function. So that was it. This was paper one discussion. Pa discussion of paper one. The paper was on the moderate level. It was not very easy. But there were questions that was direct and its calculation. was calculated somewhere but the paper was manageable and it can score very high marks if you have ample practice in mathematics so that was it it is paper 1 and after some time the evening section we discuss paper 2 okay thank you class